Hey guys, Mo Madden you here and uh, just uh, going to give you a quick tutorial, hopefully quick, uh, on Flight Simulator 2020 HTML gauges. Uh, this is not a tutorial on how to make HTL, HTML gauges. It is a tutorial to get you started with the HTML gauges. Now, um, if you looked at the documentation under gauges uh, for Flight Simulator 2020, there's a to-do. So, uh, as of right now, I, d I do not know of uh, formal documentation for HTML5 gauges. Uh, Kronsky has done some amazing work so far, and I left his link uh, in the description, so you can go check out his work, which is actually completed work can that can be installed. But what I want you to get out of this tutorial is just the environment in which you can learn how to understand and write HTML controls. Um, so, how did I get going? Well, of course, just like everybody else, search like crazy, trying to find, you know, bits and pieces of the game. Um, and it landed me in a very specific spot, and I got very lucky. So, where are we? Um, if we look at, in terms of where we are in the structure of the game, this is the package root. Okay, so, right, you've got the game, and then you've got where your packages are. And I assume you know this stuff. If you don't know the stuff about packages yet, or you got to get up to speed on what packages are and, and what, what the game is really hinged off of, which is packages. Anyway, uh, here's where I chose to install my packages. And under that, you see packages official. I, I'm running the Steam version. Now, if you look all the way down here, uh, under this long hierarchy, I stumbled upon this little gem right here test.html. I said, oh wow, developer left that in there. Isn't that convenient? So, I said, this is great, this is great. So, I took it and I dragged it into a project over here, Visual Studio 2019. Um, I'm just set up for a basic, basic web page developer uh, development. And it's nothing, no packages, there's no no jQuery, React, none of that. It's just a raw HTML project with JS, HTML, CSS. That's it. So let's have a look at this little gem called test HTML. And I, and I first looked at it and I was like, wow, there's just nothing. Look at that. There's nothing there. This thing's amazing. So uh, I got all excited. Um, notice here, oh, okay course it needs a JS file. So I went back to templates and sure enough it happened to be located here. There's the JS file, dragged it over. So I was so excited. So right, here we go. We've got our test. We've got our JS file. I pulled the CSFs off but uh, that's basically all I did. We'll look about the, look at the next one later. But for now let's just do this. Let's uh, set this as a start page. I'll go ahead and launch it. And as you can see, we do not have a gauge, uh, or HSI gauge, or anything close to that. We have a blank background and a ton of errors. Okay. And in fact, if we stop this, um, let's just start even before we start in the loop here, because basically all it's doing is finding a single element in the body, which uh, has a custom tag, which is interesting, which probably means it has a custom attribute handler. That's fine. But uh, all it really is doing is getting the document element and setting its parameters and then uh, consistently you know, uh, adding to them. And then that's the loop. Real simple at 35 uh, milliseconds. So, anyway, um, but this is not working, okay? And if we just set the first breakpoint here, where it attempts to get the element, you can see um, we're already in trouble. Just the initial package load, okay? Again, we don't have a gauge. Okay, utils is not defined. Okay, we're already, we're missing stuff. So, don't fear uh, the actual working version is not that different, but it's important to know 
how to get there. The secret sauce is these three JS files. And where you get those JS files, I will show you. Now those come from the game itself, not the package. So if you go in there and find out where your game's installed, uh, again, uh, you know, you can go into the debug settings uh, during the game, and it'll tell you uh, observe package or something like that, but it'll tell you where it is. But find where your game's installed. And if you go into the, the game set packages, you'll see this FSpace UI, HTML UI, JS. Now this little baby right here, this is what you need. Okay, and specifically, you're going to need avionics, common, and coherent. Now, coherent, what is coherent? Well, coherent is the framework that is being used to drive the entire system. Basically, it's the glue between the HTML gauges and the C that drives the game. I won't go into it any more than that. Google coherent, you'll see the whole uh, system that is being used and how, how that works. But we don't have to concern ourselves with that because the developers uh, anticipated that a test mode was going to be needed and they actually do a pretty good job of not complaining too much that the engine, the coherent engine, is not working. So that's a really good thing for us. Um, so the really the only difference now is these three JS files which I would suggest just grab in this JS folder and just bring it over to your project so you have it locally. Uh, so you don't have to do, you know, dot dot till days come home until you can find it. It's basically a simple path file uh, to the JS that you need. Nothing else really has changed. Um, I just put the style in the style sheet. It's basically all I did different from what they had. And let's now make this the startup page and launch this and as you can see we have a beautiful HSI gauge. Now this is not a rendering or a fake. This is the HSI gauge which is really cool because this is not a, a, a mock-up or something that's um, you know in place of. It's actually the gauge and what's very interesting too to me is um, there is no other connection to the game. I do not have the sim running right now at all. There is no attachment to the game. The game is not running. This is a completely self-contained uh, gauge running right now. Um, so there you have it. Basically, uh, this is how you're going to get to a point where you have a, a calm environment that you have have control over. And as I said, these three magic JS files are the key. They took a while to figure that out, but um, the only error you get is uh, it actually looks for the engine uh, right here. Uh, it references the engine. This is the, the coherent engine, but it fails gracefully and as you can see gets you um, the control running as it would in the game with now of course we're all we're doing here is uh, refreshing it every so often. So, But uh, hopefully that's helpful and it'll get you started. You can go find other gauges where you can try this. There are two other test.html's. Um, you can go search for those and uh, hopefully you can get yourself going and building your own. That's it.